this course is about the effects of global change on coastal ecosystems. The global change refers to the impact of human activity on the key processes that govern the functioning of the biosphere. These impacts disrupt the functioning of ecosystems on a global scale. These include the climate change, the most phenomenon we speak about being the increase of the temperature, but the climate modification have also other effects on the stability of the climate, the cycles of elements, the distribution of species and ecosystems. Most of the planet's life-giving ecosystem services are in rapid decline. Global change also includes the spread of pollution and invasive species everywhere, even where human has no direct activity. Here, we will mainly talk about the effects of climate change on ecosystem and species. The Mediterranean Sea is a marine biodiversity hotspot. Around 1,700 marine species occurring in the Mediterranean Sea. But this estimation is substantially underestimated because the lack of knowledge, for example, in deep sea areas, or for the microbial taxons. Temporal trends indicate that overexploitation and habitat loss have been the main human drivers of historical changes in biodiversity. In 2010, habitat loss is a degradation followed by fishing impacts, pollution, climate change, eutrophication, and the establishment of alien species are the most important treats and affect the greatest number of taxonomic groups. All these impacts are expected to grow in importance in the future, especially climate change and habitat degradation. Climate change is a reality in the Mediterranean and is particularly well illustrated by the increase of the temperature of seawater. These curves show the increase of the Mediterranean seawater close the surface in Spain. At 20 meter depths, it reached 1.26 Celsius degrees in 30 years and 0.7 Celsius degrees at 80 meter depths. The increase in temperature is also reflected in more and more frequent episodes of thermal anomalies. Thermal anomalies are reduced periods of time during which the temperature is abnormally high. The year 1999 have been one of the hottest summer in Mediterranean. One of the obvious consequences in the increase of temperature is the change in spatial distribution of the mobile fauna that can migrate to north. In Mediterranean, you have the example of the Barracuda, Spiraena, Spiraena, that is more and more present in the northern part. The Cecil and Cold Affinity species endures mortality episodes because they cannot resist change. Another example of change in distribution, the small Euphoside Meganictipanes norvegica. The species is at the northern limit of its ecological tolerance and could be impacted by warming. It is the main source of food for fin whales, 
So if it decreases, it could have impact on cetacean by cascading effects. For Cecil thermosensitive species, thermal anomalies can lead to mass mortality events. At the end of summer 1999, in the northern Mediterranean, an event have severely affected a wide range of Cecil filter feeders invertebrates from hard substratum communities such as sponges, cnidarians, bivalves, acidians, and bryozoans. Exceptionally, high and constant temperatures of the whole water column down to 40 meter depth have reached 23 to 24 Celsius degrees. It could have determined an environmental contest favorable to mass mortality event. Here you have some examples of species concerned by the mass mortality and you can see gorgonians for example, Paramuricea and Anicella, Briozoans, sponges, and all these invertebrates have been concerned to mass mortality event. Sometimes the global warming can have positive effects on the biology of the life cycle of some species. The increase of temperature combined with protective measures, have certainly contributed to enhance the reproduction of the dusky groupers Epinephelus marginatus and can have favorized these species. The change in spatial distribution of some species have effect on some fisheries in the Mediterranean. These figures show the increasing of the sardinella fishing in relation to the warming in the western Mediterranean. A significant positive relationship was formed between sardinella landings and temperatures anomalies. On the other hand, there is negative effect on the cold water species as the sprites in Adriatic and Gulf of Lion, and the anchovy in Adriatic. The climate change enhances the arrival of tropical species and thermophilous species in the eastern Mediterranean through the Suez Canal, and their dispersion is favored by the warming of the seawater. For example, the rabbit fish, Ciganus luridus, recorded for the first time in the Mediterranean in 1956, since progressively continued its geographical expansion through the eastern Mediterranean. The westmost Ciganus luridus population are reported in the northeast of Tunisia. The island of Linosa in Sicily Strait and the Cap d'Orlando in the northern Sicily. In July 2008, a professional fisherman caught a specimen of Ciganus luridus in his nets in uh, French coast. Since this date, no established population have been observed in Provencal coast, but in the future, we could observe a modification of this repartition. The Suez Canal that connects the Red Sea in the Mediterranean is the most important alien species vector in the Mediterranean Sea. The enlargement of the canal since the 60s 
has led to a considerable increase in the number of species moving from the Red Sea, so tropical zone, to the Mediterranean. The climate change modifies the physical chemical parameters of the marine environment. The changing in salinity combined with that of temperature can have consequences on the current. We have seen in previous slides the increase of the temperature, but the increase of salinity is also measured in Mediterranean to the warming but also to the lowering of freshwater inputs. In the Gulf of Lyon, in deep water, the salinity increased by 0.007 units in 10 years. In the Asian Sea, the salinity on intermediate water increased by 0.12 units in 12 years. The consequences on marine currents could be significant due to the fact that salinity and temperature are the two main drivers of marine current. The density of the seawater depends on salinity and temperature. The density of seawater increases with the salinity and decreases with the temperature. Cold and salt water is more dense than warm and fresh water. In a general way, the warmer surface waters flow northward from equatorial region to polar ones. In the north, the warm sea water loses it to atmosphere and sink. Denser cold water flow in depths. The cold dense water flows southward in a deep current. At a global scale, the global conveyor belt taking warm water along ocean surface and returning colder water in depths. In the Denmark Strait, you have the largest underwater waterfall in the ocean. The Arctic region is intimately tied to the global climate system and potential disrupts from the changing hydrological balance here. Have the potential to generate worldwide changes. Possibly the most powerful link would be via the thermohaline circulation. The climate of the Earth is influenced by oceanic currents. For example, the Gulf Stream that influences the climate in Europe. What are the changes in marine organisms and ecosystems due to the variations of currents. We have many examples. Modification of the availability of resources, consequences on fisheries, abundance of species fished, example of El Nino. El Nino is the warming of the ocean surface in either the central and eastern tropical Pacific Ocean. This warming causes a shift in the atmospheric circulation with rainfall becoming reduced in over Indonesia and Australia, while rainfall and tropical cyclone formation increases over the tropical Pacific Ocean. El Nino affects the global climate and disrupts normal weather pattern. When El Nino condition lasts for many months, extensive ocean warming and the reduction in 
easterly trade winds limit upwelling of cold nutrient rich deep waters and its economic effect on local fishing for an international market can be serious. Another example of modification of chemical in the ocean. The trend is ocean acidification. Climate change has consequences on the physical chemical parameters of the marine environment. How does it work? The increase of atmospheric carbon dioxide modified the chemical equilibria of carbonates in seawater. The current pH of seawater is 8.1, that is to say slightly basic. Since the beginning of the 19th century, the seawater pH has decreased and become more acid. The forecasts for the end of the 21th century predict problems for calcified organisms. Here you have a simplified abstract of the equilibrium of carbonates in the seawater. The higher the atmospheric carbon dioxide, the higher the concentration of hydrogen ions will be. And the result is the decrease of the pH. Carbonate ions in the ocean control the precipitation and the dissolution processes of calcium carbonates. Acidification can have consequences on invertebrate calcification. Here you have some examples of marine organisms that will have some problems for calcification. In the island of Ischia, southern of Italia, we have a site where acidification is due to volcanic carbon dioxide and its effects are studied on ecosystem. Locally, the pH decreases from 8.14 to 6.5. We observe the decrease of sclerotinian corals, mollusks, sea urchins, and calcified algae. In the other hand, we can observe the increased production of marine plants, including Posidonia. The last point that we are addressing here is the rising of sea level caused by the melting of ground ice and water masses dilatation. How much this represents in terms of centimeters and what are the consequences on ecosystems? In Marseille, the sea level has raised of 16 centimeters in a century. In all Mediterranean, the rising is not the same. We observe an increase of the level of the eastern basin in relation with an increase of the temperature of this basin. But in the southern Italy, the level has dropped. In all the Mediterranean Sea, the rise is on average 3 mm per year. What are the effects of the rising of the sea level on ecosystem? Effects of sea level rise are visible on stands of rocky substrate, modification of the shore topography, that is to say, 
addition of 5 to 50 centimeters and change of the medial littoral and upper infralittoral communities. Change of current medial littoral communities involve the death of the lithophyllum bisoides rims if this one is submerged. This small video illustrating the effects of rise of the sea level. The light the hydrodynamism the weeping The lithophyllum rim develop just up the sea surface. Some parts of lithophyllum bisoides rims are already submerged and infralittoral algae grow over these habitats. These structures are probably the remains of rims, make a former shoreline from thousands of years ago. The Posidonia Oceanica meadows can regress in its lower limit. For one meter of rising of the main sea level, for a bottom with a slope at 10%, it can represent 10 meters of regression of the Posidonia Oceanica middle. In conclusion, we can say that a multitude of response exists to deal with climate change. However, Response for many species are likely to be insufficient to counteract the speed and magnitude of ongoing climate change. In addition, there are additional threats that can act in synergy with climate change. Climate change concerns more and more species that risk extinction with all the ecological upsets that can lead to. <laughs>